a question, please, for uh, Jung Ji Hoon. Um, this is your first acting role. Um, congratulations. But I just wondered whether you are thinking of giving up the, um, the day job um, for acting um, or whether this experience may have put you off at all. Uh, what does the future hold for you in terms of the big screen and also, you know, your music career? Thank you. Uh, 물론 계속 uh, 제가 음, 영화를 좋아하기 때문에 uh, 연기는 계속 할 거라고 싶어요. I love 싶어요. film. Uh, and I want to continue to work uh, as an actor. And it was a great uh, honor for me that this first um, film and first acting experience happened together um, with director Park. I received received a lot of support from him and help. I thank him for that. Um, and through this first film, I learned a lot. And I would love to have more opportunities to work as an actor. And if I'm offered something, then I would most probably accept it. Hello, I'm the foreign correspondent from KPS. It seems that questions are going only to the director, so I'd like to ask some questions to the actor and the actress. With the first screening of the film, what was your impression? Could you give us your impression at that first screening? And then the Academy invited you in the United States, you were invited to come to Berlin, and it seems you'll be able to see a number of films here. And is there a difference between what you saw in the United States and what you see here in Berlin? Well, to see myself on screen, I was quite bowled over, and I really was. I, it's difficult to describe how I felt when I saw myself on the big screen. And, of course, I thought about this. What can I improve? And what direction should I be going in? And what can I imagine as a second work, as a second film? I mean, this film is rather funny. And so that was also impressive. And the American Academy Festival and how it differs from the Berlinale, I can't really tell you. I've only been involved in this film, so I can't really be called upon to try to give you differences between the two. And there are many people who could speak much better on that. Of course, I do feel there is a difference somehow, but I think I need more experience in the business. Hong Kong TVB group team. I have two questions. One is for Mr. Park Chen, and the other one is for um, Brain. The first question I have for Mr. Park Chen is: um, Normally, you choose your character, uh, your actors, or uh, your actresses. Uh, you pick people who are very specialized, like have a lot of experience, or well known that they're good actors. However, this time you choose Rain. He's really fresh, new. What initiate you first to choose him to be in your film? And for Rain, my question is, um, when Mr. Park first um, asked you to uh, work with him, did you ever thought of maybe he's asking you to uh, film probably a horror movie or a revenge movie like he used to make or but now he's asking you to film a movie which is more of comedy love did you ever expect that and how did you turn yourself around to be in this character such a weird character that 
you have in this film. It's so different from your normal because you're well known for sexy, cool, you know, stylish guy. But this time you're like kind of weird, you know. <laughs> like how did you actually turn yourself around to manage this character? Thank you. Sega 한국에서 열린 어떤 영화상 국내 영화를 대상으로 한 영화상 시상식에 어느 해 갔는데 when Korean films are awarded prizes I've had a chance to be there and the actor Rain was there, he was awarded a prize and he was on stage and when he left he just radiated all this energy and he sang a song and saluted everyone and it, I was enthralled and I looked around and I saw the famous Korean actresses were paralyzed and were totally flabbergasted by this young guy. Uh, and that's when I decided if I make a film with a young man in it, then I'm going to find this young guy and let him play the lead role. Well, the first time I met the director, it was really by accident. I was out drinking with friends, and we were just talking, and then at some point we talked about the film. And the end of the film was so moving, I thought, yes, that's love. And so the love story was something that I really wanted to portray. And a lot of people were quite surprised that I'd taken on this part, because the character I play is somewhat loony. So to play somebody where you don't even know what is happening in that person's mind, this intrigued me. And for me, it was, if you will, a transitional phase for me, because I could move away from the image that I had and I could become a real actor. So I wanted to get rid of my old image and I wanted to be reborn as a new actor. And that's why I decided to take on this part. So I don't know how to describe this to you, but I was deeply moved by the love in this film. It's, I'm a debutante in this film, if you will. It's my first film. So, I'm concentrating only on this part, on this role. And actually, I'm a singer, and actually that's my profession. But with this part in this film, I was able to take on a new persona, a new image, and so I'm totally satisfied, I'm extremely happy. A last question then, and I'd like to ask Wayne the question. You yodeled in the film, was that your voice? And how did you learn to yodel? And could you maybe give us a little show of your yodeling art? <laughs> Yes, that was me yodeling in the film. The character that I play is somebody who can steal other people's skills 
and characteristics. He steals playing table tennis. He steals yodeling. And yet, I have no talent whatsoever for table tennis. It took me three months, private lessons, to learn how to play table tennis. So now I'm a pretty good tennis, table tennis player. And yodeling is very difficult if you want to do it right. And that was new for me, a new technique. I took private lessons. And again, I had to practice for about three months so that I can could sing in the film and yodel. Maybe I'm praying, praising myself, but I really didn't think I could do it that well. It was great fun. But I'm a little bit hoarse. I don't want to disappoint you. And once my throat is clear again, I'll <laughs> yodel for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. This was the press conference. I'm a cyborg, but that's okay.